All right, so now we're in the Android Wear area, and we're going to take a look at some of the newest watches with the design lead from Android Wear, Brett. Hi, Brett. How you doing? Hey, Timothy. Doing great. <laughs> so I was talking to David Singleton earlier today, and he said you have to check out the new Tag Watch. Can you show it to me? Yeah, yeah I can. So here it is. Um, and you can also see that it's available in you know, this diamond-studded edition as well. Yeah. And one of the things that's really nice about the Tag uh, Connected is that it's modular, and it's actually in the name. And so not only can you swap bands, but you can also swap out uh, the, the tabs on the device in addition to the bands. Whoa. So you could have like a metal bracelet band, a leather band, a sport band, as well as you can change these accents out as well. So they can be, you know, you can go for uh, same tone or, uh, uh, you know, con contrasting tone. Um, and that all snaps back together. And when it's together, it's like rock solid. Uh, so that's one ex example of how partners are really doing really interesting things in the, on the hardware side. Um, with, you know, of course, Tag, it's got all its iconic watch faces in the software, and it's, you know, all powered by the Android Wear platform. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty exciting. It was fun to be in Switzerland for the launch event for this, too. Uh, they, they know how to host. I bet they do. Um, tell me, one other thing I want to know is, uh, for developers, what's the new thing that they get to do that you're most excited about? Um, Really, I'm going to demo a different watch at that, okay. po at that point. So the best thing that developers can do now is they can start uh, powering the complication slots or developing watch bases that show off really actionable you know, and great, great information for end users. So here, um, I've got this watch face that us two developed. And it's got four slots in addition to the time. So all I have to do is long press on it. Just, you know, awesomely, it's working just like it should. So I long press on it, and I can change any of these slots. So I can make my, you know, next meeting. I can go and do, like, countdown to some uh, important upcoming date. I can show today's date. Uh, I can go and for, uh, let's see, let's change the layout you know, over to a different one so I can have like more slots. And now I can do stuff like, you know, put a fitness goal that I've set up, you know, right on my watch face with just a few taps. Whoa. And cool. so developers can do two things. They can either be the watch face itself. If, if you're a developer, you feel like you've got a really strong sense of style, um, you can develop a watch face, but you don't necessarily have to be an expert and you know, what data does the user want. You can just let the user decide. You can add these slots for complications and let data providers either from the system or from other apps uh, power them. And, that, and the benefit to users is that they'll really like your watch face. Or if, you've, if the user's already using something like Robinhood for stocks or Google Fit for, for fitness tracking, they can get that data right on their watch face. So we're really excited about what developers are doing there and what there's still a lot of possibility left of mine. Awesome. Thanks so much, Brett. Sure thing, Timothy.